couple champs in the house here, Wes and John Nay from the challenge. You both won the challenge all stars three. Congratulations. Yeah. Big, Thank big you. win. So Thank for you. For you, Wes, third challenge win. And for you, John A, back to back queen. So we're going to get into your wins and everything. But uh, my first question is for Wes. Now, Wes, before All Stars 1 filmed in 2021, if I were to tell you that John A was not only going to return to the challenge, she was going to become the most dominant female in All Stars history, what would you tell me? I, I, with all due respect, I would not have believed it. Yeah. What about you, John? I'm going to keep my answer short there, but I mean, John is a remarkable <laughs> no, uh, human. You know what? Never... Honestly, you could have yeah. told me the same thing, and I would have been like, "There's no, no way." <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of the coolest challenge stories that I've really kind of seen throughout the years. I mean, John, a, you you were on a bunch of challenges, obviously beforehand. You took a long time off. You came on to All Stars, mm -hmm. and you hit the final three times. You won back to back, individual and pairs. So um, we're, you kind of mentioned that you weren't really expecting that to happen. What was your mindset, I guess, going into All-Stars 1 versus All-Stars 3? Like, can you give me like, the, I guess, the, the journey oh, for John A? Yes, absolutely. All-Stars 1, I was like, why am I even, why am I here? What's happening? Um, I was somebody who, um, somebody dropped out and like last minute and they called me two weeks before as a replacement. They're like, hey, can you possibly come to this? And I was like, what like so going into all stars one I had no idea what I you know where I was what I was doing but um so I here's the thing I left all stars one and um having seen my first final I realized that this is something that's possible so you know I came back not really knowing whether or not there'd be more seasons um I came back and I was like you know if given and presented the opportunity I want to be ready for it this time so that's what I did I just started training and uh got ready for season two and season three so and for you Wes how would you compare your win on all-stars three to your two other I mean it was kind of cool seeing you race against Brad at the end there of all-stars three if fans have watched dual one that's exactly what happened you know in 20 2006 or whatever all three of the wins mean something different. The duel was my first win. It was also the first single person winner of the challenge ever. It always been these like kind of team things. So for there to be like one sole winner, there was a lot of, um, you know, there was just a lot of that, that made it extra special. On Rivals 2, it was helping CT get his first win, which had eluded him for a decade. And so that kind of had a special place in my heart. And this one, it's like, you know, something that is, is a storyline that just for whatever reason isn't being talked about all that much. My best friend and my second best friend got uh, second and third place. And so when you talk loyalty and alliances and bringing your friends to the end, uh, I, yeah. I could not do any better than what was done here. It's it like we, so took, cute to see. we took first, second and third place. And um and that and that and that's that. So that that matters a, a lot to me. Is is that hard to beat? Like, how do you beat that when you've taken your friends and you won also? How do you beat that for yourself, Wes? Well, I've, this isn't the first time I've done it either. So like my entire alliance on World of the Worlds one uh, made it to the, the finals, especially Hunter. It's like like what people are always like, oh, don't, don't work with Wes. He's a master manipulator. The reality of it is <laughs> work with me and you'll get to the end. Don't work with me. And the people that are Same working with me are gonna, we're gonna point our guns at you. It's not that, it's not that hard. So it's like, uh, you know, an interesting thing to see, not to like point out, but I was just thinking about this the other day, the girls that made it to the final were the other two girls in my room and the one person that I was working with in the other room, which it's cool. Uh, but I, I will say, you know, from like watching it, like seeing Wes, me and I and Brad, like all competing together, all being best friends was like, it was the cutest thing. <laughs> I loved it. That's where we were going was to really help our three. <laughs> it was, it was cute. <laughs> it was so, I don't know. It was so fun. So I guess racing against friends, I mean, how do you, how do you, for this question is for both of you, how do you like differentiate, you know, the competitive side, right? You want to win, you want that money, you want the title versus, you know, be pretty damn cool to see your friends win also. Like, how do you uh, balance that? 
I, to, I to be a good friend um you have to give them everything that you would give your enemies in the final um you know and I don't cross the line against my enemies um but every tactic in the book to win I used and it didn't I didn't hold anything back out of respect for them and you know as much as I know that they want to win and as much as I want them to win uh I've dedicated such a large portion of my life to the challenge. I've never stepped away. I'm an advocate for the challenge and evangelist for the challenge. I put it all out there digitally, social media, whatever, for ever without ever having taken a break. And, um, and so this, I deserve, I deserve to take home the championship as much as they do. So I gave them everything I had. And the only difference would be, I would be so excited to hug them at the end, had they been the ones to have won. Yeah, that was what was cool about this season. Like, no matter who won on the guy side, girl side, like, we would have been happy for whoever won, for sure. So speaking about winning, so Johnny, how would you compare, I guess, your very first win? You won with MJ and it was a pairs, but it was your very first win ever versus getting that individual championship uh, your next season, which was your second win, obviously. So how would you compare those two wins? And uh, maybe do you have one that's more special to you? You know what? Um, they're just, they're very different. Um, like you said, you know, season two um, was my very first win. And it was obviously like, it was so great. The whole season in general was great because it was like, you know, my original real world season was in Cancun. That's where we were. I had, you know, Jasmine there, Derek there. And to like pull off a win, it was like, you know, it was, it was a great feeling. Um, but there's just something special about, coming in the third season and it truly being an individual game, um, you know, learning from the past from like flagship shows and stuff, and then kind of, you know, observing and learning from season one and season two, I feel like I finally came in on my own and, you know, was there to like prove myself as a player and winning season three was just, it was epic. So back to you, Wes, was there a point in your game where there, it was, there was a pivotal point in your game where something happened where you're like, okay, I already came into this game thinking I can win, but this situation happened where my confidence of winning is like through the roof. I think I have this. No, I was, uh, I was on my toes with my head on a swivel all the way until um, I finished the eating portion of the final. Like okay. it, it was, uh, it, it, the, 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 if you ever start to, the, the way that your question is kind of being asked, if you ever actually feel the way and people get, feel that way all the time, you're going to get, um, decapitated like soon. Like if you feel like you're on top of the game, um, you're painting a huge target on your back. You need to reel it in. You need to sandbag a challenge or two. You need to trip. You need to fake an injury. You gotta, you gotta, chill out um and if you feel ever content or entitled that's when you're going to get clipped um this is a game that rewards paranoia rewards kind of staying on 24 7 for the entire two months and so um not like it was even irresponsible of me to feel like i'd won after the eating portion but by that time i'd been smoking everyone and absolutely everything and i'd finished the eating and i just left a bunch of defeated people in the woods. And so that's about when I was like, all right, I, I won. So what about you, Johnny? Do you feel the kind of the same thing or? Yeah. I mean, he's right. Um, you know, you can't really be, you can't, you know, sit back and relax at any time when you're in the challenge house. Um, cause anything can happen at any moment. Um, but I will say for me, like, you know, when asked at what point did you know that you were going to win and, you know, I would say after the eating as well, um, there's a point where you're like running and, you know, I saw like some sand and I knew that the race was like going to end on the boat because of like the overnight thing that we did. So as soon as I got to the sand, like, I was just like, oh my gosh, we're almost to the end. Um, but you know, little did we know happened. we were going to have to build a brick house. Uh, oh my gosh. that. That and, and like I had this, puzzle. I had this learning. Curve. The directions for how to build that thing were god awful. So by the time everyone else got there, the producers were pointing at my house and saying, "Watch Wes." But this that meant that it. for who knows how long, I had to do it the wrong way because the directions were so poorly written and drawn out. Um, there, so yeah, I went it, over there. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing, how to yeah. do it. But it was literally the windiest day ever 
like my tower completely fell and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to like literally lose all of this money and this whole entire thing because of the wind. <laughs> Who's idea was that? <laughs> what part would you guys <laughs> rather, what part would you guys rather relive eating all of that crap or doing that pyramid? I guess I'd rather relive the pyramid. I mean, the eating was traumatic. I mean, just yeah, because we so don't much. the best doesn't mean we want to re- go through. That was hellacious. Like it, just the sheer volume of it. Like, and I'm, don't get me wrong. So it was much. disgusting. It was disgusting. It's just, you, eventually you're like, okay, the real challenge here isn't getting over the taste. It's just eating that much total stuff and just. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like if you liked what they served us, it was like, you know, some teriyaki chicken or like whatever your favorite dish is. It's still so much food that it's impossible. I would have a hard time eating two pounds of chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And I love chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Like, so how, how are you supposed to do that to some sort of a like animal carcass? Like that's just, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Gotcha. Okay. Just a couple more for you guys. Um, so for you, Wes, you took to Instagram after um, after the win, after everyone knew that you had won All-Star Street if they had watched the show. And you wrote, I will not return with the intent of winning, only with the intent of trolling. It's time <laughs> others win. Can you dive a little bit more into that message? And do you truly not care about winning again? No, I really don't care about winning ever again. I don't need to win. I'm playing with house money. Like, I am now there to just make anyone... Um, okay. So one thing that people kind of gloss over, I am officially the most bullied cast member over the course of a challenge career. No one else even stands a second place. There are people that maybe had a bad season or two where they were picked on, but no one's been picked on more than, than me on the challenge. It's and so <laughs> I, I get this really like weird reputation of being a bad guy when really it's like, I fight the bad people with like harsh ways, but it's like, they were bad first. And so now that like winning doesn't matter, I will like, um, I really will find whoever disrespects me first, whoever says my name first, whoever like gets caught talking about me behind my back and anything less than gushing compliments, I will take my entire game and I will take that person down with me because the viewers deserve it and that person deserves it and I don't deserve another win. And so the only way to accomplish this is to just be the mo- like the force of reckoning to just ruin someone's life because that's their once in a lifetime opportunity. And so if they cross me, I'm going to take it away from them and then I'll come back for my 40th season. And so this is just a fair warning shot. Stay out of my way and I'll let the good people win at the end. <laughs> what about you, John? Do you have the same mentality for uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, you know, I will give it to him. He like, he definitely does get villainized a lot. Like people think that he's like this big bad, like, you know, but Wes is like, honestly, he's like such a nice guy, you know? Um, So for me, you know, to take time away from my family, everything to come to one of these shows, my mentality has always been like, if I'm here, I need to do what I do what it takes to win. So, I mean, Crayon's getting a little heavy, you know. So I've I've had uh all the girls from um that were in the final, you know, they've all said to me, like, Johnny, we love you, but like, will you please just like not come to the next season? Like, <laughs> just stay home, you know, live your life. So um, it, but it is hard because it's like, you know, once you're there, once the game starts and all that, it's like hard not to be competitive, but <laughs> Fair enough. Well, that's all I had for you guys. I really, really appreciate the time. Congratulations once again on the championship, on the cash prize. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys back on All Stars 4, maybe the regular season, the challenge, or maybe challenge CBS. I mean, who knows? Uh, so thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.